Well, folks, we have Miss McBirth and Miss Terrell, who are desperately trying to prove that Mr. Hughes isn't the father of Miss Jackson's baby, Elijah. According to Miss McBirth, the baby is just too darn white to be Mr. Hughes' offspring. I mean, come on, we all know that skin tone is the ultimate determinant of paternity. All the white, white. He ain't got no black I, in here. Everything I see got mm. uh, powder puff on it. I don't see no chocolate nowhere, okay? No, ma'am. Whatever. But wait, hold your horses. Mr. Hughes drops a bombshell. Apparently, his father was white, so there's a glimmer of hope that he could actually be the dad. Oh, the suspense. Will the color of the baby's skin finally reveal the truth? Oh, but wait, we have a surprise guest. It's Mr. Hughes' sister, Miss Terrell, here to spill the tea. She claims that Miss Jackson was nothing more than a side chick in Mr. Hughes' life because he has been in a decade-long relationship with another woman and has kids with her. Sorry, Miss Jackson, it looks like you were just the flavor of the month. Are my grandchildren. For 10 years, so she was. She, all she basically was for him was a snack cake on the side of his meal. And here comes the highlight of the show. Miss Terrell witnessed Miss Jackson letting her son call someone else dad. Gasp! But hold on a second, Miss Jackson has an explanation. Apparently, Elijah calls every white person dad. Well, I guess that clears things up. Who needs a DNA test when we can rely on a toddler's labeling skills? Now let's dive into Miss McBirth's frustrations. She's already burdened with taking care of Mr. Hughes' two other kids, so naturally she's not thrilled about adding another bundle of joy to her plate. I mean, who needs extra little humans running around when you already have a full-time job as the unofficial nanny? The Honorable Judge attempts to reason with Miss McBirth, trying to make her understand the gravity of her responsibilities. But hey, let's face it, we all know that logic and reason rarely make an appearance on this show. Drama and chaos are the real stars here. Stop that, I'm sick I'm of it. it. But it, it stop today, because that does, baby is here, not my here, son. Here's the thing that she it does. Is. Here's the thing. Hold on tight because things are about to get juicier. Miss Jackson finds herself in hot water when she's accused of attending a wild sex party that got raided by the police. Talk about a party pooper. But she vehemently denies the allegations, insisting that it's all just a bunch of nonsense. But wait, there's more. Miss Terrell claims that all of Mr. Hughes' kids look the same, except for Elijah, who apparently got his nose from a different gene pool. Oh, the family resemblance is truly a nose of contention in this case. And you're saying none of those match. None of those he match. Has, all of he his doesn't look, look alike. nothing, nothing all, like my son. All his the results are in, and drumroll please, Mr. Hughes is indeed the biological father of Elijah. Cue the explosion of frustration and denial for Miss McBirth and Miss Terrell. They just can't seem to accept the truth, even when it's staring them right in the face. Are Elijah's father. No! Mr. Baker is here to find out if he's the lucky father of his cougar girlfriend, Miss Wood's daughter, Trinity. Talk about a wild ride. Mr. Baker's doubts began when he heard the scandalous rumor that Miss Woods also had a steamy affair with his best friend, Mr. Dudley, whom he's known for a whopping 10 years. Oh, the betrayal. I mean, who needs enemies when your own bestie is out there making moves on your lady? Miss Woods, on the other hand, is quite the busy bee. She proudly reveals that Trinity is her 12th child. Yes, you heard that right, 12 kids. Clearly, she's got her own personal soccer team going on. And she's absolutely certain that Mr. Baker is the father of this latest edition. Kudos to her for keeping track of all those baby daddies. But hold on a second, Mr. Baker wants everyone to know that he had a blissful time with Miss Woods. In fact, he was ecstatic when she got pregnant. Such joy. But then, during the eighth month of her pregnancy, his dear cousin dropped a bombshell. Miss Woods has also been getting cozy with Mr. Dudley. Well, that's one way to ruin the baby shower, huh? The poor guy has been cheated on before. What a surprise. And now if the paternity test doesn't go in his favor, he'll have to relive those heartbreaks all over again. Life just keeps throwing curveballs, doesn't it, Mr. Baker? The second time, I was actually in the, in the hospital holding the baby, kicking it with the family and everything. Now here comes the moment we've all been waiting for. Cue the dramatic entrance of Mr. Dudley. 
he's brought into the courtroom to spill the beans. According to him, he only slept with Miss Woods to prove that she's not a faithful woman to Mr. Baker. Talk about a real hero. But alas, he couldn't bring himself to break Mr. Baker's heart because, you know, he was pretty much involved with Miss Woods and the prenatal child. A true friend indeed, Mr. Dudley. But wait, the drama isn't over yet. Miss Woods taunts Mr. Dudley, claiming that her little girl definitely doesn't belong to him and throws a low blow about his supposed impotence. Ouch. Why are you because calling me like a real man and tell me? Oh, we ain't doing tell you tell you. Let me tell you why I tell you. And now the moment of truth has arrived. Surprise! The child doesn't belong to Mr. Dudley or Mr. Baker. Plot twist. Miss Woods is shocked and emotional, realizing that her little bundle of joy most likely belongs to a man she met before these two gentlemen. But unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Talk about a twist no one saw coming. Mr. Baker, being the stand-up guy he is, bids Miss Woods farewell and ends their relationship for good. He wishes her a fantastic life with her daughter. Ah, the joy of closure and moving on. Ah, McKee adamantly refuses to accept any responsibility for Miss Thomas's son because, well, the poor baby doesn't take after him at all. I mean, seriously, folks, who needs DNA tests and science when you can just rely on physical resemblance, am I right? Mr. McKee is convinced that Miss Thomas, who he met on a dating website, is just trying to pin this baby on him because, hey, she already has a bunch of kids from different guys. Oh, the drama. And let's not forget the kicker. According to Mr. McKee, the baby is white, so clearly there's no chance in the world that he could be the father. I mean, genetics are a mere inconvenience when it comes to determining paternity, right? Who needs evidence when you have preconceived notions based on skin color? But she called me. But hold on tight, because here comes the twist. Miss Thomas had the audacity to inform Mr. McKee about the pregnancy, and how does he respond? By blocking her number and vanishing into thin air. Ah, the epitome of maturity and responsibility, don't you think? Miss Thomas, poor thing, had to go through the entire pregnancy without any support, hiding it from her family. But fear not, folks, Mr. McKee pops back into the picture a whole week after the child is born, demanding pictures and hilariously referring to the baby as Donald Trump's son because he's too light-skinned. Your first response was what? The baby look like he can be for Donald Trump. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Miss Thomas apparently has a grand total of seven other kids. Seven! And because she had the audacity to meet Mr. McKee online and shockingly engage in sexual activities with him quite quickly, he's now doubting whether she could have possibly done the same with other guys. Oh, Mr. McKee, such a beacon of trust and faith in humanity, isn't he? I'm like... Damn, this baby make number eight right here. Like, number eight for, number eight for who? You or her? For, me. for her. I have eight. But hold on, folks, it gets even better. Mr. McKee drops the bombshell that he already has a daughter and two more kids on the way. Bravo. And here's the kicker. These two kids on the way? They're from two sisters from the same family. Oh, the romantic escapades of Mr. McKee are truly the stuff of legends. I can't wait for the next season of Paternity Court, featuring Mr. McKee's never-ending paternity adventures. And now the moment of truth has arrived. The DNA results are in. And drumroll, please. Surprise, surprise. The baby doesn't belong to Mr. McKee. Oh, the shock and disbelief on Miss Thomas's face. Mr. McKee, you are not the father. Huh. Are you serious? Huh.